with the figures I'm written down, I'm going to just go ahead and then use my this is the sharpest scissors I have and also I'm supposed to use a masking tape but the masking tape is it's finished okay today is a Sunday I can't get some anywhere in the so I'm going to use this first of all I'm going to cut this I'm going to cut the middle one first which is 12 inches okay no that is 13 Point two five inches okay so now after cutting how you prepare your boning meat you want to create that um curved shape so remove all the blunt edge okay that's um you know curve your bones like this make sure there are no pointy edges if they are or you can just file it with your file okay if you have a new file at home you can grab it and file it at this stage i could you can just use your scissors as well so that's what i'm doing and then once you're done with it just pick up your masking tape okay pick up your masking tape cut a bit of it like that okay and then you put it at the edge like so okay and then you press it press it very hard okay against the corners and everything and once you're done just trim off the excess okay like this like i'm doing just trim it off trim off the excess and then press it so I'm going to get another plate for this side. Okay, so once you're done, just you know put it against it like so. Press it to really you know marry the the bone and then trim the excess off and trim off all the excess okay yeah so after this i'll just show you what to do you see how the bone is curved like this okay this is supposed to lie flat on your body okay so this is the wrong side of the dress now this is going to go in like this not not like this okay but rather like this following that curve okay you see how i'm inserting this yes that is how your bony should should go in okay so i'm going to prepare the rest of the bony and then i'll come back to show you the next step to take all right okay guys so all my bones are prepared all right and i have written the figure at the back of each pair okay waiting it so i don't get confused when i'm about to insert it okay so i have written at the back of each pair so i've, I've arranged it in pairs like that and then before we insert carbon in we'll set it aside okay and then go and tackle our tool all right so let's just set this aside somewhere safe like so each press and then we'll tackle that this is the front and this is the back so i just remove my paper and then the next thing is opening this up Okay. and then i'm going to sew by half an inch and also the arm area by half an inch okay and then i'll sew this side to the arm area by half an inch all right and then when i'm done 
I will just um, put put it aside okay and work with the black the same as the front I have two for each okay this is the back I have two for each and I am going to up and put this together so this half an inch half an inch and then the arm area by half an inch and also by half an inch then I'll flip it over and then iron okay so once I'm done with that, I would I will join the shoulders together. Okay, front, front to to front like so. I'm going to join the shoulders together, right? Like this, and I'm going to sew by half an inch, and I'll also do the same thing to this side okay so let's go work on our tool and i'll come back shortly after i'm done okay so guys i'm done with the tool i'm done sewing the necklines and the sleeve and the hem of the sleeve okay so i'm going to just match this up and pin all right So I'm going to trim off the excess I have around the shoulder here, like so. so allow me finishing, okay? Finishing of your work is important, so you can pick this, put it here, okay, sandwich it in between the front panel, and so, but I'm just putting it on top, so, right, I'm done with joining of the shoulder, okay, as you can see, this is going to be the last thing I'm going to be attaching to our corset. Okay, so let's let's just do like this. For it's going to be the last thing we attach to our corset, so that if there is any adjustment, I can easily make it. Okay, around the shoulder area. So once uh, that is done, once that is done, I am just. I'm going to run half an inch here, half an inch there. All right, so guys, um, this is it. Okay, this is it. Just, um, you are going to set this aside. Okay, because this is the last thing I'm going to be attaching to our corset. And so, of course, um, this is the lining. Okay. So, guys, you can sandwich. You can sandwich this in between. In between the lining and the main. Okay, you can sandwich this. In between them make sure this is the center make sure the sides this is the side seam so you pin this to the side seam and bring out the other sleeve for the back pin it to the side seam and then you connect okay you do the same thing you you match the neckline like so match it and then you kind of you know pin it hold it down like that to 
to the side okay all the way then you come and bring the back the armhole and then you kind of you know fix this till you get to the back but i'm not going to do it that way i'm going to use a different method when we get there i'll show you so i'm just going to to pin this down so middle then I'm going to sew this okay right side facing each other I'm going to sew the neckline down and then when I'm done the next thing we do to fix my back up to the lining okay yes the next thing we need to fix my back up to the lining and then yeah so let's go and come back and i'll show you how to do that okay so guys i'm done holding this down with my lining okay that's how it looks okay now time to attach the back up to the main dress okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab my hand this that i need okay i'm going to put it on top like so this is the simplest and easiest way i can do now this is the right side of the back up i'm going to put it over look for the tip and then where i notch for my bust and then i'm going to pin okay so after pinning like this i'm going to pin down the rest with some ample amount of ease okay So make sure the distance in between the bra, the crease line is the same. Okay. Yes. So once you confirm the distance, just pin. For the middle. Okay. And as soon as you're done with that, you want to leave to pin on the side. Also, okay, so I'm going to hold this down with my machine, and when I come back, you're going to begin inserting. Um, Okay, let's set the right side I'm done. And I'm so the next thing is to insert our bone channels. Okay, so 
I'm sure it's okay to take it with my two five. Okay, so guys, I feel I should bring your attention to something. Remember when we were measuring the owning channels, I started from the back, okay, right to the center front. Okay, so writing your figures, okay, or whatever you get by measuring, writing it accordingly will help you be able to fix your bonus because if you write it accordingly okay you'll be able to cut and also make sure you use your pencil or your marker to write the same figure after cutting the boning okay write it indicate the inches for each panel so that when you are inserting you don't have the case where you have to insert remove the boning channel to try and make sure it fits before okay you'll be sure um where you are inserting is the right otherwise it's going to make your life a living hell because at the end of the day you take a boning and the boning is not the right one for the channel okay so that's why it's important to adapt at that moment like measure and then write it accordingly so um now I'm done insecting the bony. I'm going to just hem. I'm going